Hi, welcome to the second video of our conversation, our exploration of tantric sex. Today I wanted to share with you um, a conversation on tantric orgasm and again the differences between what we know as orgasm and what is available to us as orgasm. In the physicality of sex which we have been educated upon, um, there are many limiting, um, limiting, limiting ways in which we relate with our body, um, which therefore limit our experience of orgasm. For example, ejaculation and orgasm are two very different things. Ejaculation is simply that, it's ejaculation, it's release. Orgasm is a sensation that we experience. We also have such an intense drive to get to um, orgasm, climax, ejaculation, that we really limit our um, orgasmic sensation or um, our focus again on our genitals, on the vagina, the penis, um, the yoni, the lingam. Women uh, also have this um, intense focus on four physical orgasms, the clitoral orgasm, the G-spot orgasm, the cervical orgasm, and of course, these experiences that we have physically are delicious within themselves, but they are not what is only available to us. And I really believe, I really feel that when we can move into um, fully what is available to us as orgasm, then because the tense focus and intention and drive to get and drive to achieve and um, push towards um, dissolves, then the physical starts to switch online um, organically, naturally responds rather than how we think it should be. Especially for women, I feel that um, if there is this belief that can't have an orgasm and so it's very much focusing on the physical it, it creates a tension uh, in our body whereas if we can immerse ourselves um, and move out of that tension and out of that focus into this whole body sensation of orgasm then the physical um, will start to naturally respond because it's been given space um, because our tension, our attention is not um, so, it's, it's intense. Um, anything that we put such intensity and focus on, it, it doesn't give it space to move, it doesn't give it space to grow, it doesn't give it space to um, be natural. Tantric orgasm is a whole body experience. Again, like sex, it's not limited to our genitals. It's a whole body sensation. And this is why it is not limited, like the physical orgasm, to women only. Tantric orgasm is available for everyone. It's a whole body sensation. And this whole body sensation moves beyond that to a cosmic orgasm where we actually feel that we are an expansion um, and oneness with, um, with the universe, with the world, <laughs> um, with everything um, and there's no boundaries, it's, a, it's, it's egoless. And this is why, again, we, we desire orgasms so much because it, 
orgasm means no time and no ego. It's when time has dissolved and ego has dissolved. And I really feel this is why we, um, we long for it so much. We have snippets of it in seconds of it in our physical orgasms because our physical orgasms um, do not reverberate <laughs> through us um, and sing through us the way a, a whole body orgasm does or a cosmic orgasm does um, and so we drive towards this orgasm because it's, it gives us that, that break <laughs> from our ego and that break from time. The French interpretation of orgasm is little death and that's exactly what it is, it's a little death of time and ego wherein as in tantric orgasm we can experience that timelessness and we can experience that um, that ego dissolving for longer until it comes to the place where time and ego have completely dissolved. And this is possible through um, tantric sex and this is possible also as an individual that we can have these orgasmic states, these whole body orgasms and these cosmic orgasms um, as an individual, it's not a dependency upon the other. But of course, when we are with the other, then those expansions, again, are being fueled um, and fed and nourished um, with each other. And then as that um, partnership also expands and keeps growing into orgasmic states, and pleasure and um, cosmic orgasm. Tantric orgasm is a surrender and it's very receptive, it's feminine, again it's very, it's very yin, it's falling but it's also not falling as in a fearful falling, it's a, a falling as in what is in the way can fall away so that we can immerse and melt and surrender and really trust. All of these qualities are so important for the physical orgasm, but they, um, if we can let go of the physical orgasm for a moment and just move us into a body place, then it's actually, we find it's easier to come to this place of surrender and trust, um, and yielding and immersing from a whole body place. And from that whole body place we find that um, in tantric orgasms and uh, the cosmic orgasm there is an aliveness and there, there's a singing, singing sensation in the whole of our body and our heart and our mind is still, there is no mind. Um, and we feel very um, whole within ourselves, but very, very one. There's no separation um, between ourselves and uh, love or the universe or God, whatever um, word you want to use is irrelevant. Um, we are moving into something vaster. We are allowing um, our sexual vi uh, being to come into its full radiance and its full vibrancy. And that is a little conversation on why we, um, what our drive for orgasm is and why we uh, desire physical orgasm so much and how in truth that drive for the physical is limiting us from experience the, the full flavour, <laughs> the full flavour of 
um, our orgasmic self, our whole body orgasms, and our cosmic orgasms.